Hey guys, welcome back to Keto with Lee, your low carb lifestyle channel. I'm your host Sonia Lee, and today we are making chicken cutlets with some special spices. These spices have been created by Fresh Jacks. They are located in Jacksonville, Florida, and let me tell you that the combination of their spices I used was amazing. The whole family loved it. So I hope you will enjoy this recipe. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. It will only be open for one week. Now, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you're alerted when I post a new recipe or when I go live. And please visit my website for the full recipe along with the macros for all of my recipes. Now that can be found at www.ketoandlee.us. Now before we jump into this recipe, please support the channel. There's several ways you can do that. You can smash the heck out of the like button. You can share this with five people you know. And if you're interested, get you some gear. I have an online store and I'll put the link in the description below. Now, without further ado, let me show you how I keto. So I started to open this package and I wanted to show you what I got um, before I completely opened it. So you're opening it with me. Um, this is gonna be cool. So from Fresh Jacks, it says, Hey Lee, I apologize for my messy handwriting, but I just wanted to say uh, thank you so much for partnering with us. You mean so much. I hope you enjoy your spices as much as we enjoyed making them. Robert. Thank you, Robert. This is a company that's out of Jacksonville, Florida. Oh, there goes Robert right there. See? Right here on the end. Forgive my nail. I have to go get my nails done. They broke. It broke. It broke. So there's the crew. Get inspired. $5 gift certificate. So, I have partnered with him to review his spices, and in return, guess what we're getting, guys? We're going to be doing a giveaway. So. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Keto with Lee. Today, I'm going to be using some spices that were sent to me by Fresh Jacks. They're out in Jacksonville, Florida, and what we have here... I'll show you what came in this little package. We have the Grill Master, um, which is burger seasoning. So you could use it on burgers, veggie burgers, kebabs, zucchini, pasta, broccoli. We don't do pasta, okay? So don't do it on pasta, but you can do it on your zoodles. Um, what else we got? All right. So, sorry about that interruption. Anyways, so next we have the Keto Chop House. So this is the Keto Chop House. And you can use this one for steak, chicken, pork chops, kebabs, or veggies. It does have like a, a spicy heat index on the side of the bottle here, so you can see that. Toasted onion can be used on the vegetable soups, um, avocado, I think this will also be good if you're doing a keto bagel or a low carb bagel. That'll be good for that. We also have the Bold Bayou. It's Cajun seasoning. You can use it on chicken, shrimp, chili, stews. And my husband's talking in the background, so please forgive him for that. We also have the Island Spice, which is a Jamaican jerk seasoning blend. So that's this one here. Um, it is used for chicken, pork, beef, uh, says stewed potatoes, but we don't do potatoes, right? Um, sauces, hummus, that type of thing. So this whole set that you see here, um, we will be doing a giveaway on these guys. So look out for that giveaway. You'll get these all. These are one ounces, 1.9, 1.6, 1.3. This one's 1 1.4 ounces. So today's video, we're going to be using, let's see, not that one, these two right here, the toasted onion and the keto chop house. 
So that's what we have in here. This is the toasted onion. This is the keto chop house. One tablespoon of each to make our chicken. So moving along, let's first make our spice mixture. As you guys know, I like to put everything in my little thingamajigger. And sorry, trying to adjust to get the best view for you guys. Now, in here we have one tablespoon of olive oil. You can use coconut oil, avocado oil, whatever oil you prefer. Sorry guys if the camera is not at the best angle. Um, things have been a little hectic around here. And it's kind of dark, so forgive me for that. I'm gonna try and adjust it um, as best as I can. It is kind of gloomy out. So anyways, this is two tablespoons of lemon juice. In here is one tablespoon of minced garlic. If you haven't seen my video, on how I prepare my garlic. Um, you should check that out. I'll put the link in the description. Also in the description, what I'll do is I'll put the link to the Fresh Jacks so that you can, you know, if you don't win, you can absolutely uh, get a discount with them. This is the toasted onion um, seasoning. It's one tablespoon. And in here is the Keto Chop House Chop house, chop house, yep, keto chop house, one tablespoon as well. Okay, moving my mess out of the way. We go here and just give it a good stir. Now today I'm gonna to be doing chicken cutlets. I find it that I find that it is the easiest thing to do for dinner. So here is our mixture. That is what it looks like, guys. It smells, wow, it smells really, really good. Super, super good. Now, if you don't want the oil in it, don't do it. If you don't want the lemon juice, don't do it. You can use red wine vinegar or nothing at all. You could just use the dry ingredients. Um, I have said this in the past or previous videos that there's someone who told me they don't like garlic. I don't know why you don't like garlic, but you don't have to use the garlic. You can use anything else. This is just an example of how I use these seasonings. So in here is one pound of the boneless, skinless chicken breast. And what I did was, I always tend to do this, I cut it lengthwise in the center of the chicken breast so that it is, it turns it to chicken cutlets basically. So I'm gonna dump my seasonings in here. I always say seasonings, is that correct? Comment below, let me know. <laughs> Let's say seasonings, sometimes I say seasoning, whatever. Now I'm just gonna get my hands in here and try and make sure that every piece of chicken, I'm moving the table, sorry. Every piece of chicken in here is coated with this fabulous seasoning. <laughs> if you hear noise in the background, forgive me, but this is, this is real life, right? So what I'm gonna do now that everything is coated, I'm gonna go ahead, see that? Nice, wonderful, this is gonna be amazing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm allow this to sit for about 20 minutes and then you can either, you can do two things with this. You can put it in the oven at 375 and bake it for about 25 or 35 minutes or until it hits temperature, or you can stick these in your air fryer. All of the ingredients, the uh, instructions, are gonna be on my website at www.ketowithlee.us. Check it out. You'll see the written recipe there, and you can try this at home. Like I said, guys, look out for the giveaway that will be coming out soon. See you soon.